Hi everybody, I'm Suzanne Hyren from Memi Papyrus and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. This week's Tuesday tip is going to be about a new technique. Uh, we've done masking, we've done reverse masking, we're going to take it a step ahead with faux tearing masking. Let's get started. So we've already seen how to mask an image and we had a tip on how to reverse mask an image. This week we're going to do a technique called faux tearing technique. So this is the result. It looks like you've torn a piece of paper and applied it, but it's the same cardstock. So I will take a sticky note. You can take a blank piece of paper, any type. And I will just start tearing as much or as little as you want for the result that you're looking for. So this is what I have. Now I'm going to stick it to my piece of cardstock. I'm going to open up my ink pad. And I'm using the blender brush, but you could also use a, um, a sponge. And I'm going to start off the cardstock and start applying my ink. So we've seen that with the blender pen, you're best to start off the paper to not get too much ink at once. And then you keep going, keep going going and you'll have as much or as little color as you want. So I think that's pretty good because we're going to do the other side now. So we'll remove this part. So see it looks like it's been torn and we'll put it on the other side and I like to reverse it so the uh, indents aren't at the same level on both sides. So I'll just stick down my piece and we can use some masking tape or some washi tape to uh, just get that piece down and we'll do it for the other side the same way. And once you've done, you're done and you're ready to stamp your image on it. You can choose to leave your mask on your cardstock or remove it. So on this card, I removed it at some point to leave a little bit of the image on the white and I left my mask here so that it really looks like I tore the piece of paper. So let's remove it and this is the result. So you can be as wide or as narrow as you like and use any color of your choice and then apply any stamp. So I hope you enjoyed this tip and uh, we'll see you again next time. Thanks for being here.